Hello all. Hello all. Whatever. This is Argon Matrix. Welcome you to episode um 45 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. I haven't posted this in over a month. I'm so sorry, but uh long story short, I kind of lost a recording or the other half of that recording that I posted back on February 6th. And now uh I work back up to this point. I don't exactly have the same amount of B total or anything and I ha I the next little bit here isn't going to be blind. But only for like the last of this level and like two mini games after this. So, uh, and then beyond that, it's gonna be blind again. So, I don't want to waste too much time explaining here. Let's just get back into it. Uh, I think this is the point that I ended off the last video at. Jeez, did I really end off in the middle of a level and then make make you guys wait one whole freaking month, more than one whole freaking month? Cause uh, that was February sixth, and now it's the freaking Ides of March. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I'm very sorry about that. Oh my god, I forgot about these fat, fat athletic cats. <laughs> They're crazy. I love those things, though. I love those guys. It's good to be back to this game. I might kind of suck, because I haven't played this game in, like, again, over a month. That's like the third millionth time I've said over a month in this video. I wonder how long it would take to say the phrase over a month for over a month. Who knows? Oh my god. <laughs> That's You know, you don't really see the tank fall that fast. That's kind of funny. Oh yay! Oh my god, it's Wispy Woods or whatever this guy's name is. This guy's actually like pretty hard from what I remember. His bat he has like a lot of stuff and uh those fireballs take multiple hits and they deal out big damage, massive damage, you know. So you gotta be really careful, especially when you're getting close like that to retrieve your beads. Frick frack, I'm I'm so bad here. <laughs> whatever. As long as I maintain gold, which I'm not doing, I'm Crap, dude! And now my cat's going nuts. What's she doing over there? You can probably hear that too. I don't know. But that was Wispy Woods. <laughs> He's never a very tough fight. This is actually probably the game that I. The only Kirby game that I played that is actually reasonably hard in. Who knew? Man. <laughs> it only took some yarn to make Wispy Woods a force to be reckoned with. I'm actually not sure of his exact name. I'm, I always want to say, like, Wispy Woods, but he's not a woods. He's just one tree. Is it Wispy Willow? I have no idea. Or is it just Wispy? I, d I don't know. But that would be too, like, serendipitous because, like, I once had a Pokemon game where I got a Leafy on and named it Wispy. And that would just be scary. The Crank Handle Patch. I actually kind of forget what this one does. Ooh, a new bee collecting stage. Fun. And a new carry stage. Nice. Like, oh my god. No, that was a Numera stage. Oh, oops. Well, still, it's the oh my god that counts and a buster stage to top it all off. Sweet. Jeez, that was kind of an underwhelming end to that level. I'm very sorry. What is this guy doing? <laughs> he just pulled up the door. <laughs> That's funny. Well, he didn't pull up the door. The door was already there. He pulled up the passageway that the door leads to. That's a mind trip if I've ever seen one. If I've ever seen one. Yeah, I just totally smushed all my V's and stuff together in that sense. Alright, well, uh, I guess we'll get these mini games out of the way, because, I don't know. Man, why has this LP been going on for so long? <laughs> I know that's kind of random to just bring up in the middle of things here, but seriously, like, this LP's been going on for, like, a year and a few months. It's amazing, all the delays and stuff, all the nonsense. The humdinger of an LP, that's to be sure. Wispy's Forest, collect 250 beads in 30 seconds. I think this one that was actually pretty hard when I did it. If I recall, I did this one and pro I think the Buster mini game that was unlocked too. I don't think I did the Mara one yet. I don't totally know. No, wait, no. Did I do the Buster one for a crack? Oh, whatever. This area is fun though. This Donkey Kong Country esque area. Dude, stop doing that. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta kind of lead the cannon. Actually, I really don't have to lead the cannon very much. Crap! Okay. <laughs> that was just poor display. I'm sorry. Starting that one over. <laughs> now that we've got our trial run out of the way, let's uh do this good, do this good justice. What do you say? 250 beads in 30 seconds. I feel like finding how much, how much the average second. You'd have to how many beads you'd have to collect on average per second, but I don't want to do that math in my head. Actually, that's not that hard of math. Uh, cr oh my god, that was scary. I just got I gotta concentrate here. I can't do math and like concentrate on cannons at the same time. I mean math and arrows all at once. Jeez, I've had enough of physics, I tell you. Uh, 
Am I gonna get this? Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, I did it! Yes! I'm not sure how long I had to spare there. I'll be able to see, though, once I'm done here. Oh, I had a decent amount of time to spare, I guess. A minute 22. Oh, then, man, there's another Beadrick stage here. Well, oh, I don't want to kind of saturate you guys in Beadrick stages too much here, so I think we'll go do one of the other mini games first. That's a nice little fabric. The green dot fabric. Cool. I'm not sure if that's the same one I got last time in, like, the failed... Well, not failed, but the mysteriously deleted recording. I'm still not totally sure what happened to that. I must have just been, like, clearing out my stuff, my files, you know. Gotta clear out the LP files before I can move on. Mm. Yeah, because I have to actually clear out my things, like, a lot. Like, delete the files a lot, because... I don't know how many of you guys know this. Uh, wait, what does that say? 20, 20 enemies in 50 seconds? No problem. Yeah, I don't know how many of you guys know this, actually, but I'm always in a constant battle with, like, the space on my computer. Like, I have to, like, I can record only a very select few things at once in order to, uh, and in order to maintain the space on my computer. It's really kind of stu it's stupid. Alright, um, if I yeah, I do remember doing this one, and I actually failed it quite a bit here. So, uh, really the trick to this is that you don't want to really get distracted by the beads. Dude, what are you doing? That's how you want to do it. Yeah, don't get too distracted by the beads, because, oh god. Uh, did I screw this up? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm good. Just be really careful with how you use your enemies here, too, because you got to use some of them to break blocks and some of them to, uh, do other stuff. It's a little bit nuts. A little bit nuts, too. I'm not sure I'm going to get it this time, because I kind of flubbed up the start there. Yeah, but like I was saying, you really got to focus on not focusing on the beads. Do you have to get every enemy in this? I think you do. Oh, because I remember having a hell of a time with that. Yeah, it looks like you do. Crap. And I missed one down there, I know I did. Even if I had gone to get him, I would have run out of time anyways, so... Yeah, because my problem here is I was focusing way too hard on getting the beads, but... That's not even important at all in this minigame, so you don't really need to. Like, it's so dickish, too, because they put that one star up there, it's like, Oh, you want that so bad, don't you? But you actually don't have to go there at all to... To kill that dude, because you can just do this. Mmm... I always want to grab their spears, because I feel they'll be really useful, but I'm not exactly sure of the mechanics of grabbing a spear. Because, like, sometimes you, like, grab them, and sometimes you grab their spear, and it's really just kind of random how it works, I think. Whatever, though. I mean, I'm sure there is an exact science to it. Like, if they're, like, awake and pointing at, at you, that's when you seem to get it the most. Alright, I've got to go over here. Uh, hurry up and get these guys. Yeah, these guys take forever to get, and there's really no other way to get to them either, which is the big pain in the ass. Oh, can I get this, please? Oh, come on. Did I get it? Oh my god, I think I got that in the freaking nick of time. I'm cutting these winny ga these winny games. I'm cutting these winny games way too close. <laughs> these winny games. That's so cute. That sounds like a like a Pooh Bear Olympics or something. I don't know. <laughs> winny games. Well, I do win the mini games. Oh, another green one. I love these green fabrics. They're cool. The woods fabric. Gotta love that. Did I ever show off my apartment? I'm pretty sure I did, because I did a little bit of decorating in there. Pretty sure I showed that off like two or three parts ago. Hmm. And, uh... Let's go ahead and do the Beadrick stage. The one that we unlocked from doing the other Beadrick stage. And then we'll go ahead and... Top it all off with a Mara stage, which might be how we have to conclude this video. Cozy Cabin. I think I remember doing this one. This one's actually really hard. Frick. Oh no. Well, I'll give it a go anyways. Oh yeah, because it's this. I totally remember this. God, I spent like a million years on this. I was planning on editing into a montage and everything. It was so bad. Because uh, you got these freaking like snowflakey things or lollipops, whatever they are. And you've got to get almost every bead, it seems. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, you want to focus on getting the bigger beads uh, first. Yeah, and then you got this whole big thing here. Yeah, so head for the middle of each of those first, and then... F but you still have to focus, because there's a lot of small beads. Ones that are just worth, like, one bead. And they will disappear like that, too, which is the biggest pain in the ass, almost. 
and then there's this whole big one here that you really gotta, this is where you're gonna rack up most of your things. How many do you need? 680. What a random number. I remember it was, it was so pissed, I was getting so pissed off too, because I kept getting like, oh, 670, like I am right now. Oh god. <laughs> I got it! What? <laughs> Man, I was going on this whole big rant about, oh my god, this is so hard, I'm never going to get this on my first try, and then I did, with ample time to spare, too, like almost a second and a half to spare. And trust me, on a four-star difficulty minigame, that is pretty ample time. I mean, I'm sure it could be done faster, I know. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll be a challenge Sunday, someday, who knows. Is that like a carrot wall thing? Hot dog fabric. I don't know, I saw like the green on one side, and it was all orange, so I was like, oh, it's a carrot. But it's like a sideways fat carrot. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but it's an LP. You don't have to make sense all the time. And whoever disagrees with that is insane. What am I talking about, dude? Okay, uh, Mary, you had something for me, didn't you? Yeah, Wispy's Forest. Reach the finish line first. That's all you ever gotta do. Twenty? F is this really the 24th Mara race? My god, she's crazy. <laughs> oh. Could you seriously run 24 marathons and lose all of them? <laughs> How horrible. Alright, uh, what am, I, what am I doing here? I was trying to go in that stupid door. What the hell, man? Oh my god, you've got to ascend this, like, so fast. Okay, uh, no, get up there. Get up there. Don't be wasting your time with these guys. Yeah, you got the cat. Mmm. Okay, go, go, go. My god, I don't think I've ever done this one. Yeah, this, is, this isn't this is one I remember doing at all, so... I guess this part is starting to be blind again. What do you know? I didn't think I'd already get back to the blindness in this in this return episode, but apparently it didn't take that much. Crap! No, no, no! Oh, what? No, I, I should not have won that. I really... I, I admit, I fully admit Mara had won that. But then... What the balls, man? That was like that one time in Diddy Kong Racing where the wall was totally won. <laughs> Anyone remember that? I wish I could splice a clip of that back in, but uh, my internet's kind of on the fritz, so it would be silly. Maybe I can link it or something, I don't know. You got a baby star's fabric. That's cute. It's like Periwinkle. It's like the same color as her. Hmm. Uh, well, you know what? Since we haven't done a, a Kirby video in quite some time, Actually, no, because the, the only other thing I have to do is, like... No, I could do that. There's one more Beatrix minigame that we unlocked, isn't there? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Make this one a little bit longer than the average, uh... Than the standard deviation. I don't know. Because, uh, we've been gone for a while. Oh my god, five-star difficulty. Haven't we only had, like, one minigame before, that, before this that was five stars? This could be bad. 340 beads in 40 seconds. And it's Future City. This could be a catastrophe, I'm not totally sure. But, hey. You know... Um... What am I trying to say? No pain, no gain? I don't know. Either way, let's see if we can get out this on our first try. I highly doubt it. I totally... Oh my god, this is gonna be nuts, man. Freaking... It's like a scrolling stage, except it's not really, but... Oh, these roller coasters. They're fun roller coasters. <sighs> okay, I think I just failed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably a fail right there. Probably. I don't know. Is that like, is that like a submarine in the background? I don't, I'm not totally sure. Hmm. Man, that looked pretty nasty up there, though, with those freaking... There's like three buttons there. How do they expect you to do that and, like, keep up with the roller coaster all at once? It cannot be done. Well, I'm sure it can, but I wonder what happens. Could you even go in that door back there? I don't know. Probably not. They probably anticipated that. Or maybe they put, like, a whole big bead jackpot, and if you go that way, then you just, like, win automatically or something. That'd be cool. They haven't done that, made, like, any, like, secret ways to win these minigames or anything. Yeah, dude, I can't keep up with that stupid thing. Is there going to be another one that comes along? I mean, that happened in the real level. Yeah, there is. Okay. Well... I, I think I might have wasted too much time there still, but... Oh man, that was awesome. Dude, I did it! Yes! <laughs> On what can be colloquially called my first try, I guess, but not really. Because that first one was more or less an attempt. Oh my god, another bead collecting stage? <laughs> Jeez, all throughout the game, Beedrix has been like the least... 
the least willing to give mini games to me, and now all of a sudden at the very end, she's like pulling up the punch trying to get all these mini games in. The chain link fabric for me, and I thought this said chain chomp. Uh the word like the chain link fence. I always, whenever I think of the word chain link fence, I think of like a cross between a chain chomp and link. And it's totally freaking crazy. That would be that would be either really badass or horribly mutilated. I'm not totally sure. Guess you could look at Link's Awakening for that. Anyways, I'm rambling now, uh. So next time, this was a little bit of a longer video, not too much longer, but it'll do. That'll do, Kirby. That'll do. And for that, thank you everyone for watching. This has been Argon Matrix, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, and good night.